Careful. Come on, come on and play with me. <laughs> Mr. Chow. Here's a hat. All right. Okay, how many shells are there? You get a snack if you get it wrong. Two. You're wrong. There's only one. You got it wrong. You're hiding wrong. You cheated. I'm not playing with you anymore. So who cares what you do? Go ahead. I'll just play by myself. Come on, over. Uh, Mr. Chow, you see? We delivered on time again. I think you can trust me now. Hey, if we carry on working well together like this, well, pretty soon the whole beer is going to be ours. But what about the money, then? I need that. Huh? Money, right? Now, Dick, we're partners. Don't worry about the money. It's all right here. Uh, Mr. Chow, what are you doing? Well, Mr. Seymour, you seem pretty eager. So let's start with a small stake, huh? You know what? I'm not here to play small. I want to take a few million dollars off you today. Because I can see you're not so lucky. <laughs> then it all depends, Mr. Seymour, on how lucky you are today. Oh. Then here's to my good luck. Huh? Whatever you say. <laughs> did very well in last month's transactions. So to show his appreciation, the boss has decided to invite all of you here tonight. Please order anything that you want to. A pair of aces. Yeah, didn't I tell you I was feeling lucky today? No, Miss Chow, I'm really gonna take you to the cleaners. Let's begin with five million. 
Well, they say, Mr. Seema, that you can read your fortune in the cards, but you can also lose one. All right, I'll see your five million. Looks like someone's really looking after me today. <laughs> Three aces. Well, Miss Chow, I just want to give you a piece of advice. Just look at this casino. It's kind of run down, isn't it? But unfortunately today, you're going to lose so much money. You're not going to be able to afford any renovations. But anyway, another five million. Mr. Seema, I'm not that poor. Five million. Back to you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well then, cheers. Cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Four kings call. I don't want to hit you too hard. There, just another million. No way. I'm not gonna play around here. <laughs> Miss Chow, I wonder if you can stand losing this much, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> Look! I've got four aces. <laughs> I told you it's my lucky day. Thank you very much. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. You cheated! just as you did. You can't do it! <laughs> Mr. Seema, if that last card you got really was an ace, I wouldn't mind losing because you'd won fairly. But if you're gonna try to bend the rules like that, then I'm afraid you're gonna have to answer to me. Hmm? Uh, Miss Chow, I lost. I did lose. I'm so sorry. Uh, Miss Chow. A call for you. Hello, Yo, yeah, what is it? Sheila, your father's had an accident. What's that? It's really terrible, old Chow getting murdered like that. What do you think, huh? Well, it's an occupational hazard. I heard that whoever killed him used just one bullet. He got him right between the eyes. Have you heard from our brother? I heard he's doing well for himself in New York. But why do you bother asking about that guy? When was the last time he contacted us? Just forget about him. And besides, he's not even a member yeah, of the family. No Tomorrow, I want you to fly out to Hong Kong. Send our condolences. And just see what they're up to now. Oh. And you also need to find out if our contract is still effective. Okay.
didn't I ask you not to wear red today? My dear friends, Mr. Chow was my friend for many years. And I am as shocked as you are by his sudden, unfortunate death. And I hope that we will all try our very best to find the murderer and make him pay for this terrible act. I'm counting on you all for this. But then life must go on. And our society must find a new leader. And I think the best person to lead us is his daughter, Sheila Chow. So if you're all in agreement with this choice, Raise your left hands. Thank you all for your confidence. I'll run this organization as my father would have. Also, if for any reason I'm not here, then Mr. Han and his son will take over the leadership. Uh, uh, Miss Chow. I have decided, and that's the end of it. I need your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much for coming. How did this happen? Do you know who did it? Still looking. And your brother? Oh, he's very busy. So I came to send our condolences. Also, one reason I came is about the business your father was going to be starting together with us. Can you give us your decision on that? Yes, I can. Let's go back and talk it over. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Dad, who was that? It's not your concern. Piss off! What are you doing? This one. Excuse me. Why? <laughs> Chai asked me to come here. Uh, the guy who runs the gambling? Mm -hmm. Shit. Who the hell's Chai anyway? Come on. I'm just a messenger, okay? Don't play around. Listen. Just get out of my sight. But listen. He said you should pay back your debt and Just shut the fuck up if you want to walk out with your head still attached. Don't be like this. Do whatever you like to me, but, but but it won't help you in the long run. At least give me some money to take what? back to my boss, huh? Ah! Give you something to ah. take back. Ah. 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 Listen, who are you to get money from me? Ah. 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 Asshole. You listen to me. No one ever comes to me asking for money. You got that? Ah. Huh? Huh? Now get out of here! Huh. I can't yeah. believe this guy. Hey, yo! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Get back! Get back! Go on! Move back! Move on! Get back! Go on! I'll kill him! I will! Move back! Back off! Back off! Back off! Go on! Move it! Move it! Now, where do you keep your money? Give it to me! Hurry up! Uh, Hurry yeah. up! Back off! Yeah. Great! Out of the way! Don't move! Police! Don't move! Police. Don't move! Don't move. Uh, ah, you son of a bitch! So this is where you are! 
Put that thing down and come with me. Come on. Move it. Ah. You bastard. You ah. bastard. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for Officer, you. Officer, please don't hit me. Hey, did I say you could talk? Officer, this bastard. You shut up. Did I say I could talk? Huh? Come on. Excuse me, you forgot the change for the toy gun you just bought. Oh, oh she, well, uh, you see, uh... <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You, you idiot, let's go! Oh! After him! Yeah. Yeah. There's a bad back! Oh, my God! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! What are you doing? Huh? Oh, what are you doing? Those oh, guys, oh. they tried to mug us. Those guys tried to mug us. Come back here. Hey, come back here. Oh, oh, yeah, get him. Oh, get him. Let's go. Come on, yeah. Come on. I need this thing. Come on. Put him down. Come on. You turn around. You asshole. Didn't I tell you not to go to those places, huh? You're going to die one of these days, you idiot. Ah. Oh. Come on, I didn't have a choice, otherwise I couldn't pay back Chai. So why didn't you just stop gambling then? <clears throat> why don't you just stop nagging me? Hey, look, I'm telling you, you better stop. I don't want to lose my best friend. You're such an old woman. <sighs> hey, you're not working today? That's right. Our boss got bumped off, so today's the funeral. Wow, you're kidding. Who the hell would dare to kill your boss? I must have some balls. Hey, worry about your own balls first. Hey, isn't your cousin coming soon? Oh, yeah. A couple of days. Well, then you've got two days. You've got to straighten yourself out. You've got to set a good example for her. Come on. Everything will be okay. If you're okay, then I'm okay. Good. Come on in. Please take a look around. Now, this area is mostly for tourists and regular clients. The stakes are from 100,000 to 5 million. Thank you. Here, Brandy. Apart from downstairs, there are VIP rooms and offices upstairs. Our security systems and facilities are first class. Here, let's drink. Hello, Mr. Tang. How's your luck today? Oh, I'm just down a bit. For you. Thank you. Please, a uh, crack of cigarettes and two beers. <sighs> Jason, somebody's looking for you. These are for table 10. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Jesus, what are you doing here? I just came to see you. You got any money? Not yet, but I soon will have. I thought we'd been through all this. Hey, tell me. Which table's lucky? Look, please go. Hey, don't worry about it. Hey. Hey, what? Who's gonna win? Seven pays double. So, Miss Chow, what do you think? Would you bet odd or even? Uh, put your bets down in a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. No, come on, come on. To start or even is very easy, but I would bet. Triple six. Triple six. Triple six. Shall we go upstairs to the office? Please, come. This way, please. Yes. You don't need to come. Stay downstairs. Hi. Another blackjack. Can you believe this, huh? Hello, Mr. Tang. How's your luck going? Down a little bit. For you. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
This is the contract your father signed with us. A floating casino, the largest of its kind, was to have started next month. We would provide a loan of 25 million for startup. And your father promised that the loan plus interest would be paid out of profits. Hey, little bunny, you're still working. Oh, you noticed how clever. <laughs> Your most expensive brandy. Oh. oh pour some more. Here, for you. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, I'm sorry. Get it cleaned. On me. <laughs> You know, it's only money, you see? So easy. <laughs> Jason! 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 Hey, I got something to show you. Oh. You see this? See how much I won? Hey, this is great. Like taking candy from a baby. Hey, quiet. Can't you see that I'm busy here? I can't believe it. It's like the money jumps into my pockets. I can't help it. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Yip. I'm really sorry. You got nothing to do? Oh, it's you again. Remember no, me? He, he's a friend of mine. He just came over for a chat. That's all. I'm sorry. I'm warning you. If you want to have a chat, after work, but not during work. Got it? Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> hey, who the hell is that guy? Shh. He's the son of one of the bosses. <laughs> if you ask me, the guy's a real goddamn asshole. <laughs> uh, you idiot! What's wrong? Why what are you happened? finished yet? Are you going to go? Go? After a few more games, I'll go. I'm on a winning streak, get it? <sighs> Miss Chow, now that your dad's passed away, what do you think we should do with this contract? Well, I'll tell you. The most important word in our business is the word trust. I know I can carry through my father's plans. I'm sure we'll be able to open on schedule. Now we must see if you trust me enough to guarantee the 25 million loan. Then I'll guarantee you'll be paid back within three months. Hello, Mr. Tang. How's your luck going? Down a little bit. Want another card? I'm good. And you? I do. You don't want anything. If you take on, we'll all lose. Have a look what the dealer's got, idiot. But I've only got five, though. Well, what's wrong with a five, then? A five will do you fine. The banker's got a six, he's gonna bust it. Uh, he doesn't want one. He's good, he's good. Well, go ahead, then. Ah! Uh, I told you he'd bust it. You should thank me now. We've won. Uh, come on, pay up, pay up. Ah. Yep, that's it. Oh, boss wants to see you. Boss wants to see me? What the hell for? Okay, cash. Thank you very much, and send my regards to your brother. Hmm. Hopefully we've made the right decision. Well, seeing that it's your first time in Hong Kong, why don't you stay a couple more days? Sure. My brother tells me that you really like to drink a lot. Uh, no, not really. He's just kidding. I'll get my driver to take you back to the hotel. No. Why not? I want to meet some local girls first. Ah. Uh... You bastard. You think you're so smart. Hey, man, what do you mean? If you're too smart with me, you're gonna get into trouble. Hey, Lily. Yeah? You seen my friend who was sitting there? Your friend? Oh, yeah, he went into Mr. Yip's room. Thanks. Huh? Oh. Ah! What do you want? Oh, nothing. I'm just looking for Mr. Yip. Mr. Yip's busy now. Come back later. Oh. 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 Hey! Hey! Ah! Oh. Oh. Andrew! Oh. Hey, get back! Hey! Stay out of this. Hey, you! Leave him alone, okay? Oh. Don't touch him! Hey! Look, sir, if he did anything wrong, I apologize, huh? Don't you know that he's been cheating? No, I haven't! He's lying! Ah! 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 Hey, Mr. Yip, you shut up. What are you doing? Arthur, what's going on here? 
<laughs> Andrew, are you okay? Andrew! I tell you, he's lying. He's lying. I never want to see your face again. And as for you, don't come back tomorrow. Don't worry. I don't need your damn job. I'm quitting. But my money. Give me my money. Hey, let's go. Just forget it, huh? Hey, we, uh, come on. Arthur. In my office. Well, then, what exactly happened? Oh, uh, well, uh, that kid downstairs was cheating, so I sorted him out. You actually saw him? Uh, well... Uh... We're not a restaurant, I'm sure you know that. We're running a casino here. So if someone wins some money, then you just have to pay it out. We can't afford rumors. And how could you beat him up on the premises? If news gets out, think about it. Oh. Well, I know what to do next time. Can I go back now? Oh, wow! Are you trying to kill me? You put this on yourself, oh. so don't complain. Don't move. Oh, I'm really sorry about all this, Jason. I made you lose your job. <laughs> well, it's too late for that now. Forget it. That guy, Yip, he never liked him much anyway. That's right. Huh. He's an asshole. Next time I see him... Huh. Oh. Next time he'll get beaten up twice as bad, huh? Oh, who cares? If he beats me up, it's okay. But beating me up and taking my money is worse. And taking the money to pay Chai, well, that's worse still. Hey, you're kidding, aren't you? I'm not. You stupid bastard! Oh. Do you know what Chai's gonna do to you? How could you gamble his money? He'll massacre you! Oh, don't worry. I'll just go and beat it out of Are you insane? He'll rip your head off! <laughs> okay, after all, tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day? Yeah, of <laughs> course. How am I ever gonna get out of you? That hurts! Oh, hurts so much. <laughs> We human beings must constantly strive to improve ourselves, to make our lives better. Is that right? Even a good racehorse must have a good stable, or else it's wasted. And even for a good racehorse, chances don't come every day. So it makes its own chance. Make sure it's dealt with, okay? Okay, come on. Thank you. Right, try it. Excuse me. No. What happened? Oh. I woke you up 18 times. 
Why the hell did my alarm go off, huh? You did. You threw it in the toilet. Oh, no time to talk. Come on, let's go. Oh, shit. I'm really late now. Well, hurry up, then. Otherwise, we'll never find your cousin. Yeah, I know. Did you bring my cousin's photo with you? Of course I did. Well, come on, then. Come on. Go. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Hey, 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 okay, hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, okay. You must be Joyce. Cousin Andrew? Yeah, he's the one lying on the floor. Ah. <laughs> well then, huh? You okay? <laughs> I'm always okay. <laughs> yeah, here you are, sir. Well, let us some more. Go on. Oh, two yes. more steam buns, all right? Coming up. Mm. We need two. Eat more. Jason's paying. Oh, mm. thanks very much. Hey, I have another one. Hey, if you ordered beer, drink it. Don't drink her orange juice. Here's your juice. Mm. Go ahead. Why won't you let him drink it? Because he might have AIDS. You can't be too careful. Oh, shut up. Oh. Hey, eat up. Go on. You're very pretty. <laughs> hey, tell Thank me. You. So, did Annie get you a black and white or a color TV white. then? Huh? Oh, oh! Hey, why don't you eat with me? Oh, Mr. Chai, I want you to come and please join us, huh? Hey, cut the crap. Where's my money? Oh. Oh. It's like this. It's like this. Uh, your money is... It's like what? Uh, oh. Cousin? You what? Oh, you ain't spent all my money. Oh, no, people often greet each other like this. It's no. all right. Go oh. on and eat. How dare you? Well, you see, I've been having a little problem. Oh, I'll help you out. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hey, are you okay, huh? Okay. Get my cousin out of here, though. Right. I'll have your medicine ready when you get home. Oh. You bastard! I'm gonna kill you hey, if you don't have my money. Hey, your cousin has some urgent business to attend to, so he asked me to take you to a movie, all right? Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me, Andrew. I can see you're quite busy, so uh, we'll be off then. Not yet. Uh, hello? Listen, don't play games. Oh, I'm not playing games, no. Little girl, who is he to you? Oh, he's my just cousin. a friend. Oh. His cousin pays his debt. Hey, Take wait, her out. Hey, no, hey, no. Huh? Hey. Are you okay, Jason? Yeah. Oh, come on. Hey. Joyce, you're great. I didn't know you had a cousin like that. Mm. So, you two bastards uh, are here again. Uh, Mr. Yip. Tell me, what were you doing? You see, these two wouldn't pay their debt, and then they beat me up. Huh? Arthur. Archie, uh, how much do they owe you? 38 grand. I'll take care of it. Arthur, give him the money. Miss Chow. Do it. Thank you, Miss Joe. Uh, Miss Chow, the money, uh... You need it, didn't you? Forget you see? it. Didn't I tell you, huh? <laughs> I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I have the money. If you want to pay me back, come back and work for me and pay bit by bit. <sighs> That's right. Pay by installments. You'll soon pay it all back. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't introduce me to your friend. Who is she? Oh, <laughs> this one here? Well, she's my cousin, Joyce. Hi, how are you? I'm Joyce Wang. Good to Hello. meet you. <laughs> she looks nice. Mm. This really is a nice place to fish, you know. <laughs> you like it? Well, you should come down here more often. Okay. And next time you come to Japan, I'll take you to my favorite place. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Answer your call. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's the office. I'll be back. Okay. Sorry. I'll be right back. Take your time.
you let this happen? Did you recognize any of the men? I told you. I was too busy running at the time. I was lucky not to get shot myself. And where were you going anyway? To answer a call. Huh? What are you implying? Even if I had been there, what then? Both of us would have been killed. He was our guest. He's our responsibility. How will I explain this to his brother? Huh, right. Put the blame on me, then. However you want to handle it, it's okay by me. <laughs> Chilo. This is Miss Chow. I'm calling from Hong Kong. I have some bad news. Your brother is dead. He's what? I don't think we should talk on the phone. I hope that you can come to Hong Kong as soon as possible so that we can... Bastards. But then, you see, forcing other people to drink alcohol is not enjoyment. Do you understand? Well, if you put it like that, I guess I gotta understand. Miss Chap? What's up? How's it going? Oh, it's fine. Thank you very much for taking care of me like this. Well, as long as you do your best. Oh, I will. Mr. Chan's been waiting for you all night. I'll take you in. Okay, okay. This way, please. Hello. What is it? How can I help you? Miss Chow, my daughter was kidnapped today by the gang. Why? Because I was gambling at their place and lost six million. So they took my daughter. And then for the ransom, they want my place. Help me. Come on. You've known for quite some time now that they wanted to take over your place. So how could you play with such big stakes? Will you please help me? It's not that I don't want to. But then, if you don't give up gambling, it'll just happen again. It won't happen again, I promise you. I will never, ever gamble again. Oh? What guarantee is there? <laughs> okay, I trust you. not to come directly to see us. I think it doesn't look good. Hey, hey, Dad. He's in Hong Kong now, not Japan. He can't just come and push us around. <sighs> but even so, I just don't like it. And don't forget, we don't have too much room to bargain. All right, what should we do then? Now, we don't let him push us around. First, we try to negotiate. If that fails, then we'll kill him. Hmm. What is it? Some guy downstairs is this on seeing Miss Chow. Just be careful. Uh, 
My name's Sheila Chow. Tell me, how can I help you? We're such old friends. Don't you remember me? Uh, Sheila, you guessed wrong again. So now you get a smack, okay? I didn't think I'd ever see you again. In those days, my father... It's Doggy Dog, right? He wasn't that wrong. He just wasn't thorough enough. <clears throat> Raul, that was a dispute between our parents. It should have nothing to do with us now. And besides, my father's already dead. That's right. I don't really care anything about their disputes. But my father's death can't be forgotten. So what do you want me to do to make you happy? You must play a hand of poker with me. The winner takes all. Raul, you... And if I win, this casino of yours will belong to me. And if you lose? I brought 30 million. You'll keep it. And our differences will all be settled. Hmm. I should tell you this is a big compromise. But after all, it's your family's fault. You don't have any choice. Said, huh? All you want for me is an apology. Huh? What do you take me for? But please listen, you haven't even given me a chance to explain just it all. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. But just think about it. What would I stand to gain from the death of your brother? It just doesn't make sense. Tell me something. Why don't you hey. think I'm telling you the truth? Did I say I didn't? I've been in this business for so many years now. Killing people has no more meaning. But my brother was different. I trusted him to your care. I want to know the truth. Believe me, I'll find it. In our field, nothing has any value. All we can count on is the truth. And I'm not a newcomer in this field. I can't let them get away with this. Because if I did, I wouldn't be here now. I can't thank you enough. Just don't gamble.
They were Japanese. We don't need to ask him. They must have been Chilo's men. Miss Chow, I think everyone's suffered enough already. Why don't we just let it be? What do you think? They'll just see it as a sign of weakness. Then they'll push us around again, don't you see? Well, Han, what do you think? Well, Chilo's organization is extremely powerful, so if we fight with him, we'll suffer heavy losses. And also, we have no actual evidence that he was responsible. Hey, Dad, we know that he was responsible. We have to fight back. We can't just stick our heads in the sand. So what should we do? We have to take out Chilo. That'll put an end to it for good, don't you think? Well, then, am I right or not? Uh, yeah, right. right. He's got yeah. a point. Mm -hmm. Chilo, you must think it over carefully. I realize that. I'm sorry. He got away. Boss, uh, I'm wait, sorry. Wait. We're sorry, boss. We failed. Uh, hey, boss, give us a chance. There will be no failure next time. Thank you, boss. Thank you, oh. boss. Oh. It's hard to know what to do. Come on. You look so miserable. Hmm? It's not like you. Really? When did you get here? Just before you. So you came back to take your revenge on the Chows. Hey, that old stuff. So long ago. The old man's dead anyway. So what can I do? No. What's important is to make more money. Right? Come on. I know you inside out. You've always had a different direction from us. But one thing I don't understand is why you didn't come back when your foster father died. Why not? When I was shot six times near to death in a hospital, who cared about me, huh? Who came to visit me, huh? You know, 
We're not brothers, but we're still family. Yeah, but who ends up with 100% of the organization then? Hmm? Anyway, your family fished me out of the sea, gave me another chance, so that's enough. Because I know I'll never be a true member of your family. That's why I made my own mark in the States. I'm no longer the little brother you once knew, hmm? It's not been a good time for you in Hong Kong. You came here because of your brother's death and then have all this trouble starting up with Sheila Chow. So if you need any help, just ask me. Brothers should help each other, right? Thanks. But I think I can handle it, though. Thanks. Mr. Chilo, when you destroyed my place, it went beyond the limits. Whatever happened to your place had nothing to do with me. That's your problem, right? But you, even though you're in the wrong, you still try and kill me. I'm lucky I escaped, or else I'd be dead. I don't know what you mean. And furthermore, seeing as you have no news about my brother's death, I have nothing more to say to you. Fine. In that case, I don't have anything else to say either. Just wait, wait a second. Mr. Chilo, you were a good friend of our late master, so please sit down and try to clear this up. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Mr. Chilo, we Chinese have a saying. It's far better to solve... Basil! Than... This is none of your business. Uh, uh, well, Miss Chow, this game that we're playing can only leave one survivor. That's how it is. That's right. Listen, if anything happens to me, this is the end of it. Don't pursue it anymore. Yes, right. sir! This game is between Ralph Fung and Miss Sheila Chow, the owner. And uh, furthermore, this game is to resolve a dispute between their families. So then, every one of you here today will be a witness to this game and its eventual outcome, whatever it may be. As for the stakes, Mr. Fung's cash stake is 30 million. He must also leave Hong Kong. And if Miss Chow loses, then this casino and its operation will be transferred to Mr. Fong. In order to be fair, before the game starts, both sides should remove all jewelry from their persons so that there can be no allegations of any cheating.
Should I take up my pants? Huh? Uh, Mr. Fong, hey. I don't want to hear your bullshit. There's no turning back now. One game, winner takes all. Hmm? You seem confident. It's good odds. 50-50. Is that right? Hmm. <laughs> so, pick your dealer. Uh, we'll use your dealer. Seeing as this is your casino, I don't think you'd stoop so low as to try and cheat me. Right? inspected the cards and they're satisfied they're perfectly good. This was done beforehand. So whatever the result, neither side can object. your call. Okay. Half a million. Half a million. Sounds good. <laughs> Pair of aces to call. One million. Hey, you must be kidding. Only one million for a pair of aces? No need to go easy on me. Huh? Five million to see your next car. Flash calls. Uh, well, we did agree on having just one game. Okay, well, show hand. Now what? 
afraid you're gonna lose? Huh? <laughs> you're really confident. Okay. Let's see your hand. <laughs> you pretend you have four aces. Oh. Maybe this card will convince you you don't have. convince me that you got five aces in that pack. Hmm? <laughs> well, that's game over. Miss Chow, three days' time. I'll come and pick up the place. Bye. Uh, I think I might renovate. I'm going out. Stay there. What are you doing? You still have to work, you know. Come on, Dad. She lost her damn game. What's the point in staying? <laughs> you... Oh. Arthur! Come upstairs. <laughs> Why did you do that? Tell me, Arthur. Why did you betray me? Under the rules we played in that game, there's no one else except for you who could have ever changed the cards. If you weren't Basil's son, I would have killed you, you hear? What's that? You'd kill me? You'd kill me after so many years that we've worked hard for you, both me and my father? We did everything for you. Well, what did we get back from you? But what did I ever do wrong to you? It's a different world that we're living in now. If you have no money, you have nothing. Money? Is that so important to you? Yes. Oh, Dad! What bastard? How can you say such a thing? Oh. I'll kill you! No. I'll kill you! Uh -huh. I'll kill you! No! Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Stop it! Uh -uh. Dad. How can you do this? Tell me, how can you? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, Basil, Let no! Go. I'm gonna kill him! Basil, just take it easy! Take it easy! Let me go! Uh, let me go! Uh, come here! Come back here! Uh. Sheila, I'm so really very sorry. No, I'm not going to.
gonna let him get away with this. Now that she's managed to figure it all out, I can't go back there. So what are we gonna do? Who else knows? Her and my father. It's not too bad. We're still okay. But we're gonna have to move quickly. Then all the money will be ours. What do you mean by that? K I L L K. Miss Chow, this is Jason. I followed Mr. Han for you, and now he's down on the beach with his son. Ever since you were young, everything I've ever done was for you. What did I do wrong? Tell me, what did I do wrong? Father, I've told you so many times. What I did, I did for myself. It's nothing to do with you. Do you remember what I always used to tell you? What did I used to tell you? Tell me! Ah! Father, you wouldn't. I'm your son. You wouldn't kill me. Oh, I don't have a son! Miss Chuck, they're both down on the beach. Let's go. Father, I gave you no. life so I can take it back too. Father, no, don't shoot, you bastard! No, Dad, don't shoot me! No, please, don't, don't think it over, Dad. Please, don't shoot. You disappointed me. You don't want to. Uh, 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 uh. Father, Father, don't die, Father, no. Uh, 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 uh. What did you kill him for, huh? What did you kill him for? Why did you shoot him? Oh! Just think about it. Either he or you had to die. Basil! Basil! Speak to me! Basil! Huh? Basil! But why? Arthur, take it. Go on, take it. Bastard. Miss Chow, Miss Chow, what do we do? There's lots of them. Save yourself. Look out up top! What are we gonna do now? It's easy. As long as Sheila Chow is still alive, neither of us will be able to do business here. And you, you'll never get to be your own boss. Oh, <laughs> 
Come on, Joyce, what are you doing? Andrew! Uh, oh. Are you okay? You didn't have to hit me so hard. How did I know it was you? Uh, Honestly, tell me something. When are you going to stop playing around? Soon, if you keep hitting me like that. But... Oh, oh, oh enough chit-chat. Let's go eat. <laughs> are you buying? You know, if you carry on like this, no one will want to marry you. Hey! Idiot! What are you doing, you asshole? What are you doing? Joyce, ask him to leave his location. Okay, bye-bye. Ah. <laughs> well, you're all here. <clears throat> Hello. Whatever things have been going on before, I don't want to know. All I need to know is that now I'm the leader of your society, I can count on your loyal cooperation. Is there any problem? Where does he get on? Call What's himself a leader. I've never met him. What's he trying to say? He's a stranger. And also, about your outlets. There's to be an increase. 
of just 20%. 20%? Come on, don't get it. 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 20%? Why is it so noisy? Um... Chilo's late brother from Japan, as well as the late Mr. Chow, they got in my way. So I had to kill him. Oh, so what do you think of that? I've said all I have to say. So I think we'll adjourn the meeting. Hmm? Until next time. He's here. You're here. You're alone? Yes. Come in. He said that? Yes, he admitted it all. He killed your father as well as Chilo's brother. He's looking everywhere for you. Mr. Funk, these premises that you've chosen should fit your requirements perfectly. So then, when you've made the choice, please come to the office and sign the contract. When can you start work? We can start work at the end of the month. And I assure you that by the next year, your casino will be fully operational. Don't worry. Hey, partner. Why are you all alone? What are you thinking? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that one of my men might cause me some trouble if he gets caught. Cause you trouble? Come on, are you kidding? 
Oh, yeah. How's the new place? All taken care of. I've already signed the contract, so we're officially partners. Now, I've booked a room at the Club Volvo. We'll celebrate tonight. Cheers. You've been working very hard. You take a rest. Cancel the room. Hmm? Why? Because you're not going. Uh, 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 not going? Is this a joke? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. I don't like having partners in my business. Raul, you're a cold son of a bitch. But you just can't be trusted. Raul, if I hadn't helped you win that game, you wouldn't have got all this, isn't that right? Right. But after I did manage to win the game, I didn't need a partner. Right? Uh, 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 Master. Hmm. I reckon that must have really hurt. Uh, get changed, let's see. Yes. Why so violent? Since I made the effort to get here, I want to make sure I can get out. Good idea. All I want to know is, was it you who killed my father and Chilo's brother? So what? Huh? So you want to take revenge? And who'll help you? Poor little Jason? Huh? <laughs> Not just Jason. It was me too. How can it be? You know, I hoped it wasn't true. But now you've admitted it. I'm sure you can't blame me. Very good. You want to take revenge again? You two are really good actors. If you were professional, I'm sure you'd win an Oscar. You want to try and outsmart me? <laughs> but didn't you know that there's always somebody smarter than you out there? You're very smart. Well done. Perhaps we underestimated him. So now you've realized this. Perhaps you'll finally admit you've lost. 
Well, have you any last words? It's nearly time. <laughs> Drop your guns! Come on, you assholes, drop! Tell them to drop their guns! Drop your guns. Let's go! Fuck you! 